Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Is there a better way to start the day than with a delicious cup of coffee? We don't think so. So what is the history of coffee? Well, let's find out. Our story begins in a dark, scary time in human history. The ancient land of Ethiopia may be the cradle of all humankind, but more importantly, it is the birthplace of coffee. It is Kaffa City. Here in the mountainous rainforest near Kaffa, coffee has grown wild for millennia. The most popular coffee myth in Ethiopia usually goes like this. One day, on a plateau near the monastery, a goat herder named Kaldi was herding his goats. The goats were jumping, almost dancing and bleeding loudly. This was strange behavior for his herd. Kaldi discovered that the source of excitement was a small bush. He decided to try the bright red berries for himself. He also felt the energizing effect of coffee cherries. Now this is just a story. Katip Chelebi, the famous historian of the Ottoman state at that time, wrote that the first person to boil coffee and drink, it was Shazeli. Shazeli was born in Morocco and passed away in Egypt. He was the leader of a group of Muslim people. Even 400 years after he died, the name of Shazeli was written on the walls of coffee houses in Istanbul. Coffee crossed the Red Sea with Oromo slaves in the 1400s and arrived at Mocha port. By the way, Coffee Mocha got its name from this port. Drinking coffee made from roasted beans was first documented in Yemen. The most popular type of coffee was born here, now Coffee Arabica, which makes up 70% of the coffee consumed in the world. The Sufi mystics, there are the first coffee addicts, and they discovered that the coffee can keep them awake through long nights. But the name of the coffee at that time was bunk, as it is still known in Ethiopia. In fact, the original meaning of coffee is wine. Arabs drank wine hot. They named the drink kawa, which means wine in Arabic. And that's probably how the word coffee originated. By 1411, coffee was now known in the city of Mecca. Mecca City is in Saudi Arabia, and in 1511 the first coffee house opened. In the early 1500s, from the port of Mocha, coffee was spreading to Egypt and North Africa. And coffee houses began to open in Cairo, the capital of Egypt. Coffee reached Iran and Syria a century after it was consumed only by Arabs for a long time. Cafes have found a place in the Islamic community. Muslim people could not go to bars. Muslim men could have conversations about politics, work, and religion in coffee houses. Thus, cafes provided the Islamic world with a secular social space outside the home. Coffee arrived in Istanbul in 1519, after the Ottoman Empire attacked Egypt. In addition, coffee was called Black Pearl in the Ottoman period, and was very valuable. The adventure of coffee on Turkish territory did not start well. The first coffee sacks that came to Istanbul were tried to be sunk by piercing the bottom of the ships with the Fatwa of 1543. It was forbidden to bring coffee to Istanbul. In Istanbul, first coffee houses were opened in 1554. Drinking coffee was prohibited four times in different periods of the Ottoman Empire. And this historical document in the British Museum talks about the coffee habits of the Turks. Turks drink coffee after breakfast and during the day. Cooking technique is used in the coffee pot and Turkish delight is served alongside the coffee. Coffee was first introduced to Europe in Hungary in 1526, when the Turks invaded Hungary at the Battle of Mohács. And then in 1580, Venetian botanist and Dr. Prospero Alpini imported coffee from Egypt to the Republic of Venice. In addition, Venetian merchants who came to Istanbul brought this drink, which they loved very much, 
to Venice. Formerly sold by lemonade vendors on the streets, coffee was introduced in 1645. It took its place in Italy's first coffee house. By 1763, there were more than 200 coffee shops in Venice. Cafe Florian is a coffee house situated in the Venice. It was established in 1720 and is the oldest coffee house in continuous operation in Italy. Oddly enough, cafe culture fascinated Europeans first in England. In 1651, a merchant named Daniel Edwards, selling Turkish goods, he met a man in Izmir, which belonged to the Ottoman Empire at that time, and took him with him as an assistant. And he took him with himself on his way to England. The first coffee house in England was opened by this entrepreneur named Pasqua Rosé in 1652. Edwards imported coffee for him and assisted Rosé in setting up the facility. This coffee shop is where the Jamaica Wine House is now. For this coffee shop, the flyers distributed by Pasqua are still exhibited in the British Museum. Moreover, established in Oxford in 1654, Queen's Lane Coffee House still exists today. And when we started the 18th century, there were more than 2,000 cafes in London. In 1658, the Dutch first began cultivating coffee in Ceylon. Ceylon City is in Sri Lanka. Fifty years later, another Dutch group departed from India and reached Indonesia, the East Indies, and the island of Timor. Coffee and cafe culture began in Germany in the 1670s. Coffee houses were first established in the northern seaports in Germany, in Wuppertal, Hamburg, and Leipzig. However, Berlin's first coffee house did not open until 1721. In 1721, there were cafes in many large German cities. Coffeehouse culture reached Paris in 1686, and then to Marseille. And one of the oldest in the world, Café Procope, founded in Paris in 1686. The first coffeehouse in Austria was established in 1683 after the Battle of Vienna. It was opened in Vienna with the spoils obtained after the defeat of the Turks. The officer who took the coffee beans, George Franz Kolschitsky, opened a coffee shop and helped spread the tradition of adding sugar and milk to coffee. Kolschitsky soon opened the first Viennese cafe called the Blue Bottle. And coffee plants were brought to America by the Dutch, who dominated world maritime trade. The first American cafe opened in Boston in 1689. And then the second one opened in New York seven years later in 1696. A passionate French naval officer named Gabriel Mathieu de Cleux started coffee production in 1720. He brought coffee plant to Martinique in the Caribbean, a French colony. In 50 years, there were 18 million coffee trees on the island. Coffee arrived in Brazil in 1727. And then in 1734, French colonists cultivated coffee for the first time in San Domingo. Countries with French colonies were meeting Europe's coffee needs. These coffees were harvested by more than 500,000 African slaves. In the middle of the 19th century, 1.5 million African slaves were sent to Brazil to work on coffee. In the 1920s, Brazil produced 80% of the world's coffee needs. The first European-style coffee house opened in Tokyo in 1884 and closed four years later. In the early 1930s, there were more than 30,000 coffee houses across the country. In 1884, Angelo Moriando invented the first espresso machine and was later developed by Luigi Bezzera in 1901. In the 1930s, espresso was in cafes all over Europe and the United States. The speed of espresso and espresso-made drinks made everyone happy. Most of the world now orders their coffee in Italian. It is also certain that even the Americano, a beverage invented for American soldiers, was ordered in Italian. In 1938, Nestle launched Nescafe, a new and improved instant coffee powder. It led to a cheap instant coffee industry boom in after Second World War. Caffeine is now the world's most popular drug, and coffee is its most popular ingredient.
This little African bean changed our world. Finland, Sweden, Iceland, Norway, and Denmark are in the top five in coffee consumption per capita in the world today. And Australia, at the other end of the world, which produces almost no coffee. Today we can say that this country is home to coffee experts and coffee gourmets. Flat white is made in Australia. The country famous for the best quality coffee is Colombia. Supremo is the name given to the best quality coffee in Colombia. Indonesia produces the most expensive coffee in the world, Kopi Luwak coffee. And we all drink 2.5 billion cups of coffee every day. And thank you for watching my video. And don't forget to subscribe. Now it is time to take a coffee break.